hello people and hi chat welcome to today's video and today we are at richmond this is stage four of the dirt racing series and we're gonna do one lap of richmond and then we're gonna do stage five at harrogate which is a, an individual time trial so back to back races for me today i've been looking forward to today's stage it's short there are sprint segments and then there are two really punchy climbs at db hill and on the 23rd street it almost felt like i could go 100 percent on these sprint segments and the two punchy climbs towards the end because i don't have to worry about um, the subsequent laps it's just a single lap this time around so i come onto today's stage thinking i could just leave it all out there today and after yet another very tame start to the race um, we are here at the first spring segment the spring segment is actually across the street which we will be arriving at soon i've never had the opportunity to actually go 100 percent in any of the races that i participated so far most of these races that i've been in are like 40 to 50 minutes long with multiple labs and it's just one of those public individual races that you can participate in so um, nothing really much to go for except towards the end when you're just trying to finish as high up as possible and by then the legs are really so drained so i'm really excited to see what i can do here and here we go So there it is, my 100% effort uh, and no sprint points. I think I missed out by like a place or two, I'm not really sure, but definitely no FTS points for me in that segment. So between the first sprint and the second sprint, which is coming up, there's about um, three minutes plus of rest. Points are given to the fastest riders across the line in this segment. So the positioning of myself in the peloton is actually quite important leading to this segment. So I thought that it would be actually quite beneficial for me to hit it a bit earlier instead of going 100% when the segment starts again. So a couple of riders have already made their move and because I'm starting a bit earlier, I'm way before the segment starts so I've got to pace myself instead of going 100% um, like the previous segment and despite that I'm already tired sitting down way before the segment ended and that actually um, costed me a couple of places down I suppose so I did actually get um, the first across the line points in this segment, but it's actually not significant. So between the last segment and the Libicom, there's actually about 5-6 to six minutes of rest that uh, we could use before the segment actually starts. And at this point, I already felt that I messed up with the, <laughs> with the effort that I've put in in the previous two segments. So I haven't felt like I've recovered. And the group is actually putting in quite a lot of power leading to the Libicom. So I'm feeling actually pretty drained right now. And I'm already putting in quite a lot of effort before the segment actually starts. So I'm actually in big, big trouble now. Which is a shame because I've been looking forward to this all week and I really want to show what I can do in this stage, especially at the Libicom. I knew that um, if I could recover, then I could actually sustain about 400 plus watts throughout this entire segment. 
might not actually get me any points but um, it's sufficient enough for me to hang on to the front group which would then help me finish higher up in the race So there it is, I'm actually really really disappointed in myself. I gambled on the first win that I didn't win and I couldn't recover in time for the DBCOM. And between DB and the 23rd Street, it's actually not much of a recovery time. I was actually quite surprised at how hard the sprint effort actually hit me. But I guess we all learn something new every day. Um, personally, it's just learning about what I can achieve, what my body can cope with at the moment, and how I can actually um, train for it in the future and not make the same mistake again. I am actually so tired and breathing so heavily that I couldn't even remember to go into the, the arrow type position to actually allow myself more rest and here we go the 23rd street after 90 seconds of recovery again the pre-race plan of hitting this segment at about 500 600 watts for 40 plus seconds is already out of the window given how tired i am at this point Sorry about that. So not being in a group at this point is actually hurting me because I have to actually put out more effort to actually sustain a speed which I could go into the arrow type position for recovery. From this point on, it's just a threshold game to the end. I was actually left alone towards the end with Holly, who is actually really, really strong, really the MVP of our team. But I really needed to finish this stage strong so um, Holly can kick my ass later at Harrogate.
so there it is this was how I messed up my favorite stage of the series lots of learnings though that I can take into next week's um, Zwift Racing League so thanks for joining today I will start with the commentary um, with Harrogate being an individual time trial uh, it's just gonna be a hard grinding effort nothing much to talk about so stay tuned next week we would be at Thomas Gambit and wish me luck see y'all